Hello students, welcome to Ariser Talent. As you know, we are studying very important chapter of NCRT that how do organisms reproduce. In my previous lecture, I told you about the female reproductive system and the menstruation cycle. Now I am going to teach you about the fertilization, how the fertilization take place in the human female body. Generally, internal fertilization take place in the human reproductive system. Okay, why internal uh, internal fertilization take place because everything means fertilization takes place inside the female body okay human body that is this is the reason it is known as internal fertilization so here we can say that the internal fertilization is an essential part of human reproductive system fine so how it takes place let me explain you here we know that this is the female reproductive system as already i have told you about the female reproductive system in the previous lecture so here we all know this is the uh, vagina part of the female reproductive system okay so what happens when the male insert his penis here in the vagina and here it he releases sperms okay then what happens these sperms move through the cervix and uh, reaches to the fallopian tube okay in the previous lecture when i told you about the female reproductive system that time also i told you that fertilization of the egg takes place in the fallopian tube so how it happens when let me repeat when the male insert human male insert his penis in the vagina then he releases male gametes means sperms here in the vagina and then through the cervix these sperms reaches here in the fallopian tube okay in the fallopian tube when the sperm come in the contact with the ova or egg then we all know already already you have studied that only one sperm is able to uh, get connected with the ovum so here we can see when this sperm means the male gamete that is sperm comes in the contact with the ovum and then it get this egg get fertilized here we can see that the many of the sperms are attacking on the ova but here only one sperm can fuse with the female gamete that is ovum and then this process is known as fertilization okay during the fertilization actually what happens when the sperms come in the contact with this ovum then the nucleus of the sperm and the nucleus of ova get fused and form a diploid nucleus okay and then this form is known as zygote here we can see this structure is known as zygote zygote means fusion of egg and sperm then in that condition when the male nucleus and female nucleus forms a new nucleus that is diploid in nature that structure is known as zygote fine then this condition is completely known as fertilization means fertilization has taken place here after the fertilization this zygote cell divides again then it complete it divides and forms two cells fine then again it divides and form four cells again divides and form eight cells this division continuous and this stage is known as cleavage fine when the zygote forms and the cells inside the zygote divides continuously then this stage is known as cleavage fine after the cleavage this stage when that this contains n number of cells this stage is known as morula fine and after the morula stage blastocytes are formed then what actually happens after as i uh, when i told you female reproductive system that time also i told you that in the fallopian tube this complete process take place in the fallopian tube okay so after when the fertilized egg is ready then this blastocytes moves from the fallopian tube to the uterus here okay fine so this ovary this was the ovary and here the fertilization has taken place so this uh, completely morula comes here from the fallopian tube to the uterus and here the blastocyte the stage uh, blastocyte gets embedded here in the what linings of the uterus here we can see this blastocytes has come from here to this lining here we can see that it is implanted okay implanted blastocyte means this blastocyte is implanted in the lining of uterus and then it gets what it gets nourishment it grows here till the birth of the 
child okay this is all this is the complete process of fertilization next is fertilization so what is fertilization fertilization means the fusion of male gamete and female gamete and the formation of zygote that is known as fertilization fertilization is the process of formation of zygote means diploid it has diploid nucleus by the fusion of by the fusion of male gametes that is sperm and female gamete that is ovum okay so what is fertilization fertilization is the process of formation of zygote by the fusion of male gamete means sperm and the female gamete okay next is internal fertilization internal fertilization takes place takes place in the humans okay internal fertilization takes place in the human how it takes place let me mention when human male insert his penis in the female vagina and releases sperm these sperm move towards fallopian tube move towards fallopian tube for the fusion for the fusion with ova okay then what happens next is as the sperm fuses with ova nucleus or male nucleus as the sperm fuses with ova male nucleus fuses with female nucleus and forms zygote okay which is diploid nucleus okay it is diploid nucleus okay then this zygotes the cells in the zygotes divides continuously the cells of zygote divide and this stage
is known as cleavage. Okay, this stage here we can see this stage is known as cleavage. Fine. This stage is known as cleavage. Then here we can see that cleavage to uh, that stage of cleavage it comes to the stage of morula. Then it gets entered here in the uterus from cleavage to morula means multicellular stage from cleavage to morula then it comes to which state blastocyte okay then it comes to blastocyte stage and moves to uterus and get embedded there in the thickened in the thickened walls of uterus to get nourishment and grows there fine so this is all about the fertilization that how the fertilization take place as we know that the in the humans internal fertilization take place means everything happens inside the uh, human body only okay so here when the male insert his penis in the female vagina that he releases sperms and then these sperms reaches to the fallopian tube through the cervix okay and there the fertilization take place when the male sperm and female ova comes in contact they fuse and then they form diploid nucleus okay or diploid nuclei then they form the zygote fine and then continuously division in the cells of zygote and cytoplasm the cytoplasm of zygote it forms the morula stage and uh, this is the stage which carries the n numbers of cells in it fine then when it converts into the blastocyte it gets here it comes from fallopian tube to, to the uterus and get embedded here in the walls of uterus and gets nourishment here and grows here so this was all about the fertilization of egg okay now we will talk about the different diseases okay so here we talked about the fertilization definitely when the fertilization will take place so definitely a child will uh, a birth of child will take place here okay so as we know that uh, population is increasing day by day okay to how to control it so to control the population first we need to control the birth rate okay so here we will talk about what is birth control So before uh, talking about the different diseases, we will talk about the population which is increasing day by day and how to control this population. So con to control this population, we need to control the birth rate. So what is birth control? What is birth control? Birth control means to uh, follow the, some preventing measures, okay, to stop the control of birth to con to stop the birth of offspring that is known as birth control okay so how it can be done it can be done by different methods what are they it can be done by barrier methods barrier methods it can be done by chemical method
okay as well as it can be done by iucd method it can be done by natural method okay and it can be done by surgical method natural method or surgical method okay so population can be controlled by the following methods means we can stop the birth rate we can control the birth rate by following these method first of all is barrier method chemical method iucd method natural method and surgical method so first of all we will talk about barrier method first is barrier method barrier method as we can understand by the name itself barrier means we can do something we can add something to stop the uh, what to stop the fusion of sperm and ova okay so generally it can be done by barrier method so during the uh, in the method barrier in this method or in the barrier method generally we use two processes what are we can use condoms generally it can be done by condom by using condom or by famidom okay so if we talk about condoms then condom is a what condom is a rubber tube which can be which can cover an erect penis okay during the before the copulation so here let me mention condom what is condom these are rubber tube that cover erect penis okay so before copulation these condoms are used to avoid the fusion of sperm and ova okay next is famidom next is famidom what are these famidom famidoms are also the rubber tubes which are fitted in the vagina okay these are these are rubber tubes which are fitted which are fitted in the vagina okay next method is chemical method next method of control of child birth or to control birth of child next method is chemical method chemical method okay so different types of tablets pills okay are uh, taken by the female to avoid child birth okay so tablet jellies here we can mention tablets jellies cream paste etc these are the chemicals which are used by females to control fertilization or to control the entry of sperm fine first of all we can add the method is oral pills okay and these chemicals can be taken by oral pills so uh, generally 
females can take tablets okay and another method is what is that is vaginal pills okay vaginal pills so some tablets creams are used okay and they are used in the vagina of female to stop the fertilization these are kept in the vagina of female okay so this was all about the chemical method next method is iucd method next method is iucd method generally what happens in this method devices of copper or steel or plastics are inserted in the uterus okay in this method in this method in this method devices made up of plastic steel are inserted in the uterus in the uterus by expert doctors or nurses okay in this method devices made of plastic or steel are inserted in the uterus by expert doctor or nurses to immobilize sperms okay or to to immobilize or to to less or to reduce the thickening of to reduce the thickening of lining of uterus okay so this is the iucd method you can note it down next method is natural method next is natural method it includes avoiding of copulation or withdrawal of penis before ejaculation okay this is the natural method without taking any chemicals generally it can be done by avoiding uh, copulation or withdrawal of penis before ejaculation next is surgical method next is surgical method okay generally it can be done by two methods vasectomy it can be done by two method vasectomy and tubectomy okay first of all we will talk about vasectomy 
what happens in vasectomy generally uh, this surgical method is done in the males only what happens in this method generally what they do the doctors remove a small part of the what they remove the small part, part of they remove in this method this method is this method involves males okay in this method a small portion a small portion of sperm duct is removed by surgery and it stops or it prevents it prevents the sperms from coming out okay generally what happen in uh, vasectomy small portion of sperm duct is cut and then it is tied with a thread fine then it prevents the sperms from coming out next is tubectomy next is tubectomy generally this method involves female this method this method involves females what happens in this method generally what we do some part or uh, ovary is cut okay or some part of ovary duct is cut and then it releases it prevents the eggs from reaching the fallopian tube okay in this method in this method some part or small part we can mention small part small part of ov duct is cut and it prevents the ovum to enter in the fallopian tube okay some part of ov duct is cut then it again tied with the thread then it prevents the egg to reach in the fallopian tube so the, this is the surgical method which is followed to control the bud so in this lecture we studied about the fertilization of egg and how to control the birth rate okay so hope everything is clear to you thank you